Hi, and welcome to another drum tech lesson. Uh, today we're going to be talking about very, very simple eighth note bass drum variations for those of you who've just started out. So we're going to assume before we start that you know the basic eighth note rock groove. It sounds like this. one and a bass drum on beat three. So if we move on to the next groove now, uh, we're going to have a bass drum on beat one, a bass drum on beat three, and a bass drum on the and of three. So we count that out. We've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. and put the hi-hats in. The next group, we've got a bass drum on beat one, a bass drum on the and of two, and a bass drum on three. So that's going to give us this. One and two and three. exercises I'm counting out loud and I really like to stress the importance of counting out loud when you do these exercises initially it's really really going to help the placement I know that a lot of people don't like to count out loud but it really is going to help so I, I strongly recommend it um, moving down the next groove has a bass drum on beat one a bass drum on the and of one a bass drum on the and of two and a bass drum on three so we count that out and we've got two We've got a bass drum on beat one, and then we've got a bass drum on the and of three. Now, compared to the last groove, there's a lot of space in here. There's much less action on the bass drum. Um, this normally makes the groove sound a little bit funkier, a little bit more space. Um, but it feels like there's a lot of space uh, in this groove when you first start playing it. So let's try it out. We'll count the bass drum out. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and the hi hat two three.
that's all of our four grooves. The next thing you might want to start to do is maybe play through each one two bars at a time. I'm going to do this, but I'm going to add the initial groove uh, with a bass drum on one and a bass drum on three at the start. I'll play two bars of each to go through. Two, three. four grooves running straight down. Now, just to finish off, I'd like to talk a little bit about getting the most that you can out of the stuff you already know. So once you learn these grooves and you have them down, you can play them on the hi-hat, uh, you may want to play them in, in other places. So you can play them on the ride cymbal, uh, or maybe the floor tom with the right hand, or crash cymbals for louder things, but let music dictate what you do with that and where, and where you play it. So for instance, if we take the ride cymbal and play, uh, let's play groove three on the, on the ride. right hand stick between the bell of the cymbal and the body. And if you do that starting with the bell, you're going to accent the quarter note like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Okay, so that kind of wraps things up for us today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. A um, couple of things. When you're playing these grooves, uh, try to make sure that you're not burying the snare drum stick in the head. So make sure the stick bounces back up. Uh, and when you're playing the hi-hats, make a conscious decision whether to play the hi-hat on the top, or the hi-hat with the tip of the stick, or the edge with the side of the stick like that. Get a more aggressive sound with an accent with the edge. So it's the top. the lesson today uh, feel free to check out the website that's drumsmithstudio.com and we'll see you next time